These two different viewpoints on the biggest stock in the market right now is MarketBeat analyst Chris Markotch. Chris, NVIDIA has been the hot topic for years now. Uh, recently, there's been a lot of movement on this stock. Let's talk about what we're seeing right now. So right now, uh, NVIDIA jumped about 4% yesterday it had been tuesday the 24th and that actually led the s p 500 higher uh it had started the day kind of weak and then because of nvidia nvidia kind of led the way and the reason why it jumped four percent yesterday was because um jensen wong the ceo announced that he was done with this round of selling that had taken place that he had been doing since the company's earnings report in late august I put this in my article as one of the, as kind of a bull bear counterpoint. This is kind of one of the weakest reasons I think that people have to sell the stock, but I understand the, I understand the thinking. Um, retail investors sometimes get nervous when they see a CEO or another corporate insider selling a lot of stock. But in general, these are nothing burgers. Um, most of these events are orchestrated well in advance. They're called these Rule 1065B1 trading plans. And they have to file these with the SEC, usually months in advance of when they actually sell. So the SEC is well informed about the fact that these sales are going to take place. It's just a matter of when they take place. And the CEO or the insider doesn't really know what the stock price is going to be on that date. So a lot of people thinking that Jensen Wong was selling because he knew something bad was going to happen to NVIDIA. That's really not the case here. Nevertheless, on the news that he wasn't selling any more stock, the stock did start to go up. Sounding like you are with the bulls on this one. Is that right? I really am. With, with again, with the one caveat being the broader economy, but there's so many question marks around that right now. I think investors can safely dollar cost average into NVIDIA which means just putting a regular amount aside and putting it into NVIDIA at, a reg at different intervals. You don't have to worry necessarily about what the price is of the stock on any given day. If it does drop a little bit, woohoo, you're getting stock on sale. And if it goes up a little bit, okay, then you've bought the stock at where it is now and that might be the new floor. So you're okay. But you know, to, sim to simply sit there and say you should ignore NVIDIA, I just don't think the other arguments really hold that much weight for me. In the past, a few technologies have been crucial in pushing the stock market higher. This encompasses the 1990s internet, the 2000s mobile devices, and the 2010s cloud computing. The technologies of the next decade will likely be shaped by artificial intelligence, and these Wall Street analysts are very optimistic about NVIDIA. By 2030, NVIDIA's stock price, according to Boston Consulting Group's Phil Panaro, may reach $800. From its current share price of $121, the estimate suggests an upside of around 560%. When it comes to data center graphics processing units, GPUs, which are chips that execute technical computations more quickly and effectively than central processing units, CPUs, NVIDIA is the industry leader. In real life, artificial intelligence, AI. Applications and machine learning model training are two examples of complicated workloads that GPUs speed up. GPUs from NVIDIA are the norm in the business. Not only do they routinely beat competing solutions, but NVIDIA also has a stronger ecosystem of supporting software that makes application creation easier. The QDA ecosystem is what makes NVIDIA GPUs the preferred choice for developers. Analysts point to the company's 70% to 95% market share in AI chips as evidence. When NVIDIA's Blackwell Next Generation GPU begins to appear in the market in the fourth quarter, Phil Panero of Boston Consulting Group thinks the company's leadership in AI will be further cemented. According to Panaro, NVIDIA's stock fluctuated in the months before the company's hopper generation of GPUs were released. The stock increased hundreds of percent when it was announced. Thus, he stated in a recent interview, I see the same thing happening with Blackwell. Furthermore, Panaro stated that he anticipates NVIDIA will bring in $600 billion during the fiscal year 2031, which concludes in January 2031.
That suggests growth of 33% per year, which is about in line with Grandview Research's estimate that through 2030, investment on AI will compound at a rate of 36% per year. NVIDIA is unquestionably well-positioned in a market that is expanding quickly, and it has cemented its leadership by entering related industries like networking hardware and cloud infrastructure services intended for artificial intelligence workloads. If you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market latest news, you can subscribe to our investing tutorial channel as we post daily updates about the biggest changes and catalyst in the market. So click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now back to today's video. The bears and yeah. the bulls had a little bit of win on that one, on that point. Yeah. Uh, moving on to another point that you brought up in your article, uh, the bears are arguing this Blackwell delay um, yeah. as a reason to not go for this stock. Give us both sides of the argument on Blackwell. Well, this is another one that I would say among the arguments that I would have, this one's kind of a not very strong. The The reasoning that some investors have is that you have companies like Meta and Microsoft who have already expressed an interest in getting their hands on other high-performance AI chips. They don't want to be just beholden to NVIDIA. That's all well and good. And certainly there are some competitors along the way, advanced micro devices being the most prominent one. But None of these competitors at this particular moment are ready to capture market share at scale. And keep in mind, NVIDIA has 85% of the market. And so, I mean, it's it's going to be really, really hard for these other companies to, to start chipping away at that market share unless they have AI chips that they can start delivering at scale before Blackwell comes out. And Blackwell is going to be available by the end of this year or early next year, according to NVIDIA. Which is not that far off at this point. Right, exactly. Exactly. Uh, another Along with Microsoft and MGX, NVIDIA Corporation partners with BlackRock on a focused fund to address energy demands for AI growth. The 20 AI news stories that shook the internet this month are listed on a list we recently created. We will compare NVIDIA Corporation to the other AI stocks that made waves on the internet this month in this video. AI is changing the world and industries by boosting productivity, spurring creativity, and creating new business opportunities. According to a recent McKinsey analysis, by 2030, artificial intelligence might boost the world economy by $4.4 trillion yearly. The swift advancement of artificial intelligence, AI, technology, particularly generative AI, has made it possible for businesses to automate laborious jobs simplify workflows, and provide customized services. AI is transforming diagnosis and therapy in the medical field. For instance, when it comes to identifying diseases like cancer, AI-powered diagnostic tools, like those created by Google Health, achieve accuracy rates that are on par with or better than those of human doctors. These developments can enhance patient outcomes and lower diagnostic mistake rates. According to Gardner, in order to enhance patient care, 50% of healthcare providers will invest in AI-driven technology by 2025, highlighting the enormous development potential. Artificial intelligence is also changing financial services. Financial services might be a major driver of AI's potential 14% global GDP gain by 2030, according to a POC research from 2023. AI is being used by banks and fintech startups to improve fraud detection, automate customer support with chatbots, and provide individualized investment recommendations. Artificial intelligence is also causing rapid transformation in the manufacturing industry. Robots driven by AI are automating industrial processes, decreasing human error, and boosting productivity. The International Federation of Robotics, IFR, projects that by 2025, sales of industrial robots would have reached a global total of $31 billion. For factories, downtime and operating expenses are being reduced by these robots in conjunction with AI-driven predictive maintenance solutions. To increase sustainability and reduce manufacturing costs, Tesla, for example, utilizes AI in its gigafactories to expedite the production of electric automobiles.
AI is being adopted by the retail sector to improve customer experiences and streamline supply chains. By providing individualized purchasing experiences, AI-driven recommendation systems, like those utilized by Amazon and Alibaba, have greatly increased customer happiness. So what does this really mean for NVIDIA's stock? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. Another point argument that you pointed out in your article is talking about kind of what's going on in the economy. We know we just right. saw these rate cuts. It's all anyone is talking about right now. What's the argument from the bears and the bulls on how those rate cuts might impact NVIDIA stock? Right. This actually to me is the strongest of the arguments. If you were going to make a bearish case, there's a lot of contradictory signals in the market right now. And You've seen this with chip stocks over the last couple of months. They go up, they go down. If they if there's fears of a recession, they go down. If they're if they're thinking that there's going to be a soft landing, they go up. The concern is that if the economy goes into a recession, that the companies that need Nvidia's chips are going to slow down on AI spending. In my article, I cited a study from Payments that said companies that spent between 1 million and 5 million said that there's really not going to be any change in their spending. Now, all of that can change, but this would be the one concern that I would have if I was an NVIDIA shareholder would be, would companies be starting to pull back on that AI spend if the economy goes into a broader recession? It's too early to tell. And to be honest, we just don't really know right now. Another argument you pointed out for or against NVIDIA is the valuation of this company. Let's talk about yeah. what the bears and bulls have to say about that. So this is one that you hear about almost every day. Um, and that's just that NVIDIA is a very expensive stock. And by expensive for the retail investors that may not quite understand what I'm saying here, um, I'm not necessarily talking about the stock price. They've split their stock. It's not expensive necessarily from that measure the stock price, but it's expensive from valuations like price to earnings. Uh, the multiple was, I think, around 23 times forward PE when I wrote the article. Um, there's other back of the metric, back of the envelope metrics that investors use, price to sales, PEG. And by almost any measure, NVIDIA is an expensive stock to buy. You're paying a premium to buy the company's future earnings, which many investors feel already priced into the stock. The more compelling argument, I guess I would say there is people look at NVIDIA's market cap, which is two, which was 2.84 trillion when I wrote the article. And that's an amount that's equal to what the entire cloud computing and generative AI market will be worth around 2030. So it's expressing the fact that, again, this is an expensive stock. Investors are paying a premium for it. My counterpoint to that is that you're, it's really kind of futile to argue against math, and that's really what you're doing if you're taking the other side of this. I don't like to argue against math, but I would also point out that NVIDIA has margins of over 75%, and that's using generally accepted accounting principles. Its profit margin was 55%. I mean, that means that they're just generating a lot of profit on what they do. And that doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Earnings are what drive stock price growth. And so you have a reason to believe that even though the stock's expensive, it's going to continue to go up because earnings are going to continue to go up. And unless that changes, it doesn't really matter what the math says. It just seems like the stock's going to go Perhaps NVIDIA will bring in $600 billion in revenue during the 2031 fiscal year. However, $800 per share suggests a market value of around $20 trillion. Thus, a price-to-sales ratio of 33 is implied by Panero's revenue projection. The present valuation of NVIDIA is 31 times sales, which is higher than the three-year average of 26 times sales. Having said that, I believe NVIDIA's stock can beat the S and P500 by a significant margin before the end of the decade. Those who are patient should think about starting a small position in the stock right now. According to a Forbes research, artificial intelligence 
AI could help merchants better satisfy customer requests by reducing supply chain forecasting errors by 50%. But as AI becomes more widely used, worries about job displacement also increase. By 2025, AI is expected to displace 85 million jobs, according to the World Economic Forum, but it will also create 97 million new opportunities, mostly in fields like cybersecurity, data science, and AI development. Workers will need to retrain and adapt to this shift in order to be competitive in the changing labor market. Financial Times reports that BlackRock, a major player in the investment industry, is investigating the possibility of launching an eye-focused fund in association with Microsoft, one of the biggest names in computing, and MGX, an Abu Dhabi-based investment business. This fund's main objectives probably include sponsoring energy infrastructure to help the development of AI and concentrating on building data centers. NVIDIA is helping BlackRock determine how much energy upcoming AI systems will require. Energy-related issues have been predicted by analysts as a possible barrier to a quicker adoption of AI. Together with Global Infrastructure Partners, a company it acquired for $12.5 billion in January, BlackRock will introduce the fund.